I'm Sir SirTapTap and welcome to Let's Play on Rusty Trails, a game by Black Pants Studio. The copy of this game is provided by the developer. I just want to take a quick peek at the options menu there. Um, curiously, I have frame rate issues with VSync on. When I turn VSync off, I get about 100 frames per second, even with MSA2 times 2. Uh, so there's something a little weird about how the game handles VSync. But I'm just leaving it off because what you'll get... Um, the recording isn't going to be affected by any tearing issues. I actually, well, maybe I shouldn't speak during the intro. I'm not getting any tearing issues, despite turning off V-Sync. So, uh, okay, now I'm seeing some tearing. Yeah, I guess you might want to turn off V-Sync, even if you normally don't for this game. Um, alright, this is a, um... This is a review copy provided by the developer before a few weeks before release, so it's possible any bugs that we get here are actually fixed by the time you're watching the video, which should be day of release. Rest in peace, house. This is Elvis. His house is broken. Despair. Scratching head, thinking. Remembering. House warranty. It's always good to keep your house warranty inside your head. In case of rust, use this. Start walking, find office, get new house! That's how insurance help works. Not to make things too serious here, but uh, my homeowner's insurance and auto insurance came for, through for me in a big way uh, last year. It's very important to have those things. Um, so here is an here is our main mechanic. I played just this first level here. Um, well, just the first part of it, actually. But yeah, we've got Magnet Boots. That seems to be our primary gimmick. I hadn't heard of this game until I got the press email, actually. Um, it works pretty dang well. So I, I'm not sure how good it is yet, but um, it looks pretty legit so far. I, the moving, just moving, feels really nice. I love the bouncing with the containers. It just feels... Nice and fluid. What is this? Oh, I guess that's our level, rank six. S five reviewers were better than me. I guess I didn't really try, but still. I'm playing the game early and I'm still not the best. How disappointing. Life backup. Only one unit. Good as new. Oh, it's serious. So those are checkpoints. Okay, I, I assume that we rust and die. I mean, the game says rusty, whatever. Interesting. So we pay for checkpoints. I wonder if you get more point. Up, oh, dead. I wonder if you get more, uh, like a better score somehow, if you don't use up all of your checkpoint thingies. What is this? This game is driven by that machine. Oh, okay. I guess we found a secret that we were basically forced into finding, but still, I won't complain. I'm expecting like 18 billion Illuminati comments on this video. Please don't be that person. Rank seven. Ah, oh, savings. Yeah, see, savings. I I knew it. Let's see, it's gonna be one of those speedrunny games where you gotta not. What is this? Do I just jump down? Okay, no, you don't do that. Um, whoa, whoa, okay. I see. <laughs> it's causing some slight property destruction here. So yeah, I guess to get optimal score, you gotta get all of the units, but not use them. And I bet there was one above there. Rank two! We better get rank one, because I'm one of like 20 people tops playing this probably. Or maybe more like 10, considering rank 7. I don't know. I just assume I did really bad, but I don't know. Maybe not. I'm not really a high score hunter. I don't actually care, but it's just kind of funny to me. I I got the game early. Still not number one. I'll never need... Oh, frick. Exact same place I died last time. Let's see, we're getting more serious here. Movement just feels really good. 
at least once I turned off V-Sync. Like I said, that I usually don't mind V-Sync, so I, I think it must be something specific to the game, but uh, it was giving me little frame hiccups. It doesn't tear too bad, though. Yeah, I don't mind tearing if it's not too bad, but it's just so inconsistent. Like, this game, very playable. Curly or Sigma had really bad constant tearing, and it's like almost, it was like really severe, but extremely constant, like always in the same position. So it, it's kind of really bad, but kind of not as bad because it's so constant. But, uh,. You won't see the tearing in the video because it's only 60 frames per second. And uh, I should probably just honestly force VSync off whenever I record stuff and just suffer through the tearing, personally. They are watching you! Hi, evil alien thing. What is this? Oh, it's just a dude saying hi, I guess. Oh! Dead. I guess I should be looking for secrets. I guess this stuff just pulls away. Boop! Never mind. Not worth it. Poop! I don't know what's going on, honestly. Excuse me. Oh, I see. Hmm. I, I like the story without words thing. I've mentioned this a lot, but it's still true. Um, I wonder if I could... I could feasibly see how many other people have played this just by doing really badly on a level. It's, stuff like that is stupidly fascinating to me. But yeah, I really love... No Harry's! <laughs> oh my god, the triangle poops! Um, but yeah, I love these story without words saying, like, it's... It mostly works in games where the story isn't really a huge deal, and it's not always a bad thing. Oh, that looks... deathy. Um... But I still really enjoy it, like, here we see bad things happen to this other little dude. Elvis is puzzled. Red light. Straps on. I guess there are words, but they're honestly not that necessary. Uh-oh. What did you do? Press X to use suit. Oh! We can survive rain now? Oakley doakley. No more pain from rain. Happy. Ugh. Sort of a nasty suit, honestly. Yep, dead. Yeah, I really enjoy. Oh, we can be okay. I see. Oh, oh. <laughs> I love tutorials like this. Um, that just you're gonna find out what you need to do naturally. Um, there's a good video out there about. Oh, interesting. Um. Mega Man X, Mega Man X's first level, about the whole tutorial. Um, <laughs> this sort of makes it more explicit. I, I, it's kind of not necessary after that last level. Oh, I figured gray was both can stand on it, but no, gray is that's that's the background. Wait, oh, so that's life insurance for this dude, or this suit rather. Alright, so, up. Oh. Alright, I'm getting this. This feels really nice. Boop. So do I go down or... no. <laughs> he gives you the middle finger when you're the alien. I guess that's like... These are our oppressors or whatever. All the subs. Our city, living a stainless life. I guess the oh, <laughs> so those can't stand on these either. I guess the squi I what did it call them? Harrys? I want to call them squishies, but no, that's Doctor Nefarious' thing. I think they called them Harrys. Oh, I've got some cinematic stuff going on. Our city, living a stainless life. So we do have some story beats going on. Hmm. 
Oh! Not sure how much of this will play. I just wanted to do a quick, um... I did lots of weird... When I... Oh, dead. Oh. Of course there has to be the level where you learn to switch. Oh. Good. It, I, was, I figured it would crush you, but no, it doesn't. Yeah, when I record, I'm usually either in a mood to do some more traditional games like this, or do a bunch of weird games like I find on itch.io. Um, today was mostly a weird day. I wanted to do one traditional game, because I have a big backlog. And honestly, this wasn't a high priority one, because it's not coming out quite yet. I probably shouldn't have, but I indulged myself, because this, this seemed easy to get into, and that is, that is a factor as well. You think it'd be easy, you know, you're just playing video games, right? But, uh, you know, it's also, it's it's a performance and, you know, it's, I don't want it to be just awful. How can I not get number one? Somebody must have done real speedruns. Well, not like real, real speedruns, but like actual effort put into runs. Because I, I can't get number one and I'm not like too busted up about that. But it's just kind of funny to me. Up oh, dead. I love this instant respawn. I, I'm required by law to mention how great instant respawn is. Um, hmm. Especially in, in a level like this, because I'm going to die a few times while trying to get past this thingy here. There we go. Oop. Alright. See, the platforming of this feels really good. Up, oh, dead. Up. Oh. No? I guess the laser doesn't hurt you if you're in rust form er, red form. Okay, let's test this theory. Yeah, Peroni. Yeah, I love this environmental like tutorial. Like, there's no. There we go. It doesn't need to explain the tutorial to you, stuff to you. What? Oh. Hey, the Harrys are here. Um, but yeah, it doesn't need to give you words because you know there's only one way to proceed. And you, you can just figure it out on your own, as long as you, you know... There's not too many things you can do, so you just have to figure it out as you go. And that's pretty cool. Dead. Up. Oh. Like I said, gotta love that up. Oh. Legally required to love that instant respawn. Doing lots of switches. How do I get in there? Secret time! Huh. So I guess it's gonna show us some backstory through the secret areas. I'm not sure if that was secret, because I mean, it seems like I had to go there. Wait, maybe not. Oh, no. It, it, it was a secret. Alright. Oh, yeah. Colored exits. I guess lots of people love to hate on puzzle platformers, but ooh. I wasn't expecting... I didn't know that I hit that checkpoint. But um, I'm really liking this one. It feels very good, doesn't waste my time. You know, as an adult, my biggest fear for games wasting my time. Um, I don't really need a game with a billion hours of gameplay. I, what I really want is a game that is just enjoyable from the outset and does not dare to just waste my time with dumb crap. Do those burn through? No. no. Opportunist. We're getting Chivos, I'm not sure why. City 8. Wonderful we'll see City 17. Excuse me? So there's a big glob of question marks. Oh! Dead. Okay. Globs are bad. Meteors, dead. Okay. Meteor globs of death are bad and they kill us. Wait, wasn't there a thing? Oh no, we, we get to keep the collectible after... Oh. Interesting. See, so yeah, you, if you die, you get to keep the collectible. 
Even if you don't have not activated a checkpoint yet. Aw. Hmm. Hopefully this isn't the pace for all future levels, but as a mix-up it's not too bad. I tend to avoid the constant death things, but uh... Rainbow! Yeah, this, this is more my speed. Number two. See, somebody must have gone through and been proud of themselves. I guess maybe it was a developer. Who knows? Boop. 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 Okay. I don't have any trouble switching this. In some, you know self-co-op style games. I have brain problems when trying to switch. But in this... No, nah, it's it's nice and easy. I, it's just simple and feels really natural. See, I never feel like I'm losing because of the controls, which is never a fun feeling. I'm just losing because I, you know, screwed up. And that's fine. The switching just feels very nice and fluid. Oop, dead. Maybe we are gonna see cities. Oh, we got a mediator here. Uh oh. Oof. Hmm? Crap. I wasn't sure what was going on there. See what I need to do now. Whew. Okay, let's checkpoint that, because I died. Oh! Totally unnecessary checkpoint. That checkpoint is like a trap, basically. I wonder if there's some like secret ending you need. What is this? Oh. Wait, are we oppressing the blobs, or are the blobs oppressing us? I'm not sure how this works. No parasites. I guess we are oppressing the blobs? I'm not sure the socio-economics of what's going on here. Getting a little tired here, not because of the game, but it's like 11. Oh, dead. I think I'll get to one more, like, area transition sort of thing, and then I'll call it a night. I think I'll play more of this. I usually say that and then end up not going back, but, uh... I am enjoying this and I do want to show some more of it, or at least play more of it. I guess it depends how much more... I'm sure there's more mechanics to see. No par See? See? They're, we're the parasites to them, they're the parasites to us. Wheel of life, or whatever. Wheel of oppression. Okay, I guess two more... Oh! Maybe in two more things we'll switch to... Oh, oh wait. No? Oh, I just have to be blob to go around on the top. Okay. Yeah, new mechanics. How about that? Um, I think there's gonna be like a story scene every row. I guess it's every five. Let's see, yeah, just a couple more, and we should see something cool and a good stopping point. More importantly. Mastered City. These mixed quarters, the foreigners next door. Spooky. Community! Yeah! Love. Death. Okay, they don't love. <laughs> Electrocute. Okay. Yeah, I don't think the community sign is working. Mixed! Yeah, I don't think the mixing... No, the mixing is not going well. Oof. Com 
community. Okay, let's see, yeah. Definite evidence of- up. Oh, holy crap! <laughs> Even the exits reject us. See, I'm really liking the, how the, you know, environmental storytelling, I guess, is the fancy term to use. The environmental storytelling isn't exactly story without words, because Kirby does basically no form of environmental storytelling, but it still tends to still tell a story without words. They just, they have cutscenes and stuff. They just don't have words in them. Okay, so we are re required to use that feature. Alright, one more level. Oops. I was expecting to spawn it as a blue. I love these super short levels. I, I really I really do. I also love the range of the exit. It's very useful. Mixed quarters. Let's take a quick peek. How many episodes we have? So I guess we're less than half done. And of course the later levels are probably longer and or just kill me a lot more. But yeah, this is On Rusty Trails by Black Pants. I'll definitely play more of it. I'm not sure I'll do another video. Probably will. But yeah, that was really cool.